you have been talking recently about MMA. Yeah. Is that, you said, like, where's the biggest money, right? That's where yeah. you're heading. Is that the reason for the MMA talk? Nah, it's really not. The MMA talk comes from when Amanda Nunes knocked out Chris Cyborg, I was watching the fight, or I was somewhere, or I was reading it somewhere, and they said, she has the best hands we've ever seen from a woman fighter. What? <laughs> like, the disrespect. It's more of like, I respect MMA fighters to the T, because they have to um, learn so many different disciplines, right? And in boxing, you just learn boxing. But to say that she got the best hands in the game from a woman fighter, like not her MMA career, but she got the best hands in the game. She can be any woman fighter with just her hands. She can't beat me. I actually went to the Olympics, not for judo. I went to the Olympics for boxing, two-time Olympic gold medalist. Like I'm the best woman fighter with my hands. And if you watch me fight, you know that. So it's like. But if you went to MMA, you would have to, like, because you said you respect the game. Respect You can't it. just walk into an octagon and, and with six months of learning how to stay out of submission holds on the ground, you mm -hmm. have to actually take that as a discipline. Wouldn't that derail your boxing career? I've been boxing for 13 years. I don't think I could ever forget how to box. It's just in me. Um, I would never give up boxing. I want to be a two-sport combat athlete. And with me going to MMA, I'm going to not just jump in there. I'm not going to have Amanda Nunes be my first MMA fight. That's not logical. So you're doing this. I'm going to do it because... How, have you been training in any kind of mixed martial art and for how long? I did some wrestling with Adeline Gray. Uh -huh. And I'll be doing my jujitsu and wrestling and whatever other dis, uh, uh, disciplines with Johnny Bones in the next, next month, actually. We're going to have a mini camp to see if I even like... If I can even get used to kicking people and people kicking me and the, learning the takedowns. And I think what's my advantage is I'm 24 years old. I have so much time. If I don't want to get in the MMA, MMA ring for two years, right. I don't have to because I'll only be 26 when I get in there. And I still have enough time to, be, to, uh, to become a great fighter. So I'm not in a rush because I always have boxing. I got to tell you, that sounds like the right way to go about it to me. But I do notice in MMA, the most successful fighters are the ones who start from a base of ground game, wrestling, mm -hmm. jiu-jitsu, and then add the striking. It's harder to do it the other way, to go from striking to learning the other stuff. It seems to me, and I've been watching since UFC 1, you mm -hmm. know, like, it seems that's harder to me. But, but if you're not in a rush and you're yeah. willing to give it years of practice, then it sounds like you're serious. No, and I, I'm serious, and I want to have my first MMA match at the end of the year. It don't have to be against a, a top tier one uh, fighter, but I know that as far as in fighting, I love the art of war. I love to fight, so I'm not going to go in there and lay down for nobody. I don't care if they come with kicks, elbows. If you're going to kick me, I'm going to kick you. You're going to elbow me, I'm going to elbow you. And I, I'm a really an Olympic athlete, so I can learn these things and catch on very well. I did wrestling practice for one day, and Adeline Gray was like, I can't believe this. She was like, I was defending her takedowns. She was showing me how to take somebody down. And she was like, you catch on very well. The only thing for you is you have to keep practicing this because you can forget. So we took videos. I watched the videos. Um, my my uh, boyfriend wrestled all through from, he was six years old to 12th grade. Mm. He won. My boyfriend can wrestle his butt off. So he even shows me stuff. So I'm... I'm going to actually take it serious and learn it, and that's just going to be that's going to help me become a better fighter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.